Alright, so I recently like figured out how to make like motion blur and like really high quality footage for like renders on my own videos. If you haven't noticed the past like two or three uploads have all been like pretty high quality compared to my crappy pixelated stuff I had before. And I actually did all this using Shadow Play in a cracked version of Premiere Pro Motion Blur. And in this video I'll just show you how to do that and get it. So the first thing you need um, is recording. And the way I record is using NVIDIA Shadow Play, which requires an NVIDIA GPU, which if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, I'm sorry, <laughs> you can't do this. But basically what you need is GeForce Experience. I'll have a download link to that. I'm not gonna download it because I already have it and it's really self-explanatory to download. But once you have it on your PC, um, just open it up. And, okay, there we go. You go to general, and then you want in-game overlay turned on, which this is what we're gonna use to record with, is the in-game overlay shadow play. So once we have it uh, turned on, we can do Alt-Z, which opens up this, and we have record and instant replay, as you can already see. So I'll show you my recording settings, is I have it set to one minute, which because I don't want really long, you know, files or whatever that are several minutes long. I just want a one minute clip so I can just get the gameplay that I captured really easily in editing. And I have custom quality set to the max resolution possible. And then you want, of course, 60 FPS. And then you want 50 bitrate. I'm pretty sure you could do more. I really don't understand bitrate that well. I just think it makes stuff look better. Like, or that's what it's supposed to do. I don't know what I'm talking about, to be honest, but basically just use these settings. And we'll just turn instant replay on. And basically, the way instant replay works is whenever you do something cool in game, you just press Alt F10 or whatever shortcut you have to capture. And that'll just capture it in a one minute clip in a folder on your PC. Depends on where you have that folder located. You can just play around with this to find all that. And then you can just get the clip and drag it in uh, to your editing software. The editing software I use is Premiere Pro, by the way, which this is what this tutorial is based on, is high quality <laughs> um, Minecraft clips, but in Premiere Pro, because most people use Sony Vegas, but I really don't like Sony Vegas. So we'll just make a new project and we'll call it RSMP. Tutorial. This is also a motion blur tutorial because people, a few people were wondering how I did that. So, first thing we want to do is just go into our clips folder, which I have right here, and then we'll just drag a clip. A clip. And let's just unlink it to get rid of the audio. We don't need audio. We'll just drag it to where the clip is. So this is a clip, 360 spin to bow combo, then a 360 and he dies. Pretty clean. So, now, uh, why is this black? Oh, because it's not dragged all the way. So, then like to make this render look like extra good, is there something called RSNB Motion Blur, which requires a plugin to get. And the way you get that plugin, um, is a mega link which I have that in the description of this video it's basically here just the only thing you want to download on the site is this button so just download that it will be saved to your desktop or I think <laughs> or in your downloads either one I already have the f I already have it downloaded yeah in this folder in motion blur so basically what you want to do now is the dot rar you want to right click you want to go to 7-zip if you don't have 7-zip you can install it really easily online and then you want to extract to rsnb5 crack so you want to do that and then once it's that it'll become this file and we want the after effects.zip version i want to double click this there we go and then i'll do this 
next, accept, next. And then it asks for this. So you want to go into this full in this file right here. The after code. Oops, come on. You want to copy and paste just the username and the registration code. And then you want to do install pro GUI version. So that should do it. And finish. And then you don't have to worry about any of that anymore. So we can just close out all this. And then you can go into Premiere. You can look it up. And then you can just literally just drag it on your clip and you're done. That's how you get motion blur at 4K 60 FPS that easily. And I can't really play the clip without lag. Actually, maybe, yeah, see, whenever there's like, whenever there's a lot of motion blur going down, I get a lot of performance drops, so you can put it down. I recommend you don't put your motion blur on your clips until you have everything done, because it's going to be really laggy. But don't worry about it. When you render it, it'll be fine. So now this gets on to the last part, which is rendering, which you just go export media on entire sequence and now these are my render settings they're actually super basic I have it in a preset called best settings 4k first do this so basically it's literally just the 4k settings the only thing that I have changed is render at maximum death and use maximum render quality that's like literally the only thing you have to do and then you can queue it through the media encoder or you can just export it now it actually since we have motion blur on this clip it takes a while to um, render so yeah that's pretty much all you need to know though like that's literally the end of the tutorial you you'll obviously need some premiere pro knowledge prior to this but if you're just if you already edit in Premiere and you figure out how to use shadow play which you should be able to it's super easy um you'll be able to do this really easily and I'll just skip ahead to the final render of what this looks like so yeah thanks for watching and I guess share this around and subscribe if it worked I don't know it might not <laughs>